So guys, for the first method, you want to try to run the application with admin privileges. So you want to head over to search and then you want to type an application that you want to run. So I'm just going to be typing in Brave, for example. You want to right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes. See if this fixes your problem. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in NET space stop space HTTP. Click on enter. And now once this comes up, you want to type in Y and then click on enter again. You can wait for all this to load. Now once that's been done, you can just keep CMD open, but we're just going to minimize it. And now you want to head over to search and type in registry editor. You want to right click on it and then click on run as administrator. And then click on yes. Now before we do anything, we're just going to create a backup. So you want to click on find and then click on export. And you can just save it to your desktop. We're just going to call it registry backup and then click on save and now once you're on this you can follow everything i'll be doing up here so first we're going to expand hq local machine and then we're going to expand system and then we're going to expand current control set and then we're going to expand services and then we're going to scroll down and expand http expand this and now you want to expand parameters and now once you've expanded parameters you just want to right click on parameters and then click on new and then click on key and now you want to create a new folder that's called list only list and then click on enter and now once you're on list only list you just want to right click on any blank space click on new and then click on deal with 32 bit value and now you want to head back over to cmd again and now you want to type in ip config click on enter and now you want to rename this as your ipv4 address so i'm just going to copy this so i'm just going to highlight over it Control c on my keyboard then i'm going to just right click on this click on rename and then paste it right here and now you want to double click on your IP address and then change the value data to 1 and click on OK. And now you want to head back into CMD and you want to type in NET space start space HTTP and click on enter. And now once that's been done, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.